week 12, module 9, conference table. So you do have the stick logo picture to add to the memo. There's the preview, and then you can also use this insert document. So go ahead and open the insert document. And we'll be copying this, so if you want to just control A and control C, and then choose File, New, type Memo, and you can select any style you'd like. This is the one I used in the example, so I'll choose that one and create. And for the paragraph that I'll replace, select the one that's there as a sample and control V. And then for the logo, I'm going to select the logo so I can replace it with insert. Select your logo. It might be a little bit large, so you can make change the size of it. Uh, I'm going to type in the date here by clicking Insert. Date is the calendar with the clock. Today's date, current date. And this part, this one will be your name, and then from my name. Then for the title, it's conference location. And then I put the date here, so if you want to delete this line, you can go ahead and choose layout, delete, and choose row. Or you could change, put the date in there, that's fine. So control N gets you to the end of the document. I'm just going to press another enter. And I'm going to click insert table and select three columns and four rows. The first um, column, I'm going to select all of them and choose Layout, Merge Cells, and this will be World Wide Web. And then I will select the first row, the both cells in column A, um, B and C, and merge those. And I'll type in a phrase in there. And I just re remembered that when you click, click in the create a table within a um, template, the paragraph spacing may be off a little bit. So I'm going to select the entire table. And then I'm going to go back home, choose the paragraph dialog box launcher. And I'm going to change the after spacing to zero. Single's fine. That's good. And then it does make it very narrow. When I'm back in layout, I'm going to increase the height of the lines. 0 0.4 is good. We can make adjustments if you want to make it larger. So these, this cell here will stay the same, but this one will be broken up into two rows. So choose cells. It should be one column and two rows and OK. And then if you click in here, you can press F4 and in here F4. So I am going to make it a little bit larger. Maybe I'll go with 04 for everything. So I'm going to fill, finish typing in, and then we can uh, work on more of the table design. So after you filled everything in, I'm going to change the font size, so I'll select the whole table and increase the font size. And then for World Wide Web, I'm going to go to Layout and choose Text Direction and put it in the center. And then probably don't need it as wide, so make it narrow. And this one I'll choose Center. And for um, all of the cells, I'm going to choose the Align Center Left. And then all you need to do for um, the design is to select a color. And if you wanted to, I went into Design and under the Colors palette, selected um, different shades so you can select anything you'd like. And this one moves, so I'm just going to change it back to Center. And then if you take the table handle to select the entire table, you can move it. And I think I'm going to make this a little bit more narrow so it's not as wide. So take the boundaries and drag it over. And 
And again, with the handle, you can drag it up to anywhere in the document. And I'm going to choose Justified so it's perfectly even on either side. And there you have it. Document. That's a save and submit. Thank you.